Guys, hi, it's David here again, and this video is about maybe the biggest question of them all. What does it mean to be happy? And I'm going to ask a question, and the question is this, do you want to be happy? Because I'm, I'm going to talk about six reasons why I think you don't want to be happy, okay? I'm going to talk about six reasons why you don't want to be happy. Everybody I meet um, says they want to be happy, right? We all think we want to be happy. But I'm going to talk about, you know, is that true? Is that actually true? Um, ask yourself that question. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be happy? Now, the stuff I'm going to talk about, a lot of it is in um, all sorts of spiritual paths, Course in Miracles, um, loads and loads of different paths talk about these principles. And I'm going to sum them up into six here. Now, the first reason why I'm, I'll put it this way. I'm going to tell you the secret to happiness at the end of this video, right? And my prediction is that almost everybody that watches this video um, will have forgotten <laughs> the answer within a couple of minutes of having finished this video. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer and I'm not kidding about that. I'm actually going to give you the answer to be happy. You can be happy right now if you accept what I say at the end of this video. But my prediction is that you won't. You won't want to hear what I have to say. Okay. The first reason you won't, um, you won't, it won't register with you. You won't hear it or you won't accept it. Is that when I say what I'm going to say next, you'll get very defensive. Right. And what I'm going to say is, right now, you, and I'm talking to you personally, you're, you're very unhappy in your life. You're very unhappy. And that's not an easy thing for people to hear. It's not an easy thing to accept, right? And when I say that to people, right, and that's an assumption, but it's an assumption, it's, a very, it's an educated assumption because almost everybody in this world is unhappy, right? Almost everybody. And I'm talking 99.9%. So when I say that to them, they'll say, um, oh, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not unhappy. I'm not depressed. I'm not upset. Okay. And they'll say, you know, I've got a good job. Um, I've got a, a, a nice family. Um, I get on well with people. And they'll say all these things, right? But do you ever get upset? Are you ever lonely? Um, do you ever crave things that you don't have in your life? Are you searching for something? Is there a void inside? Do you ever feel guilty? Um, it's a general feeling of emptiness that people have. And do you ever get upset? And I'm talking about if you ever get upset, that tells me that you're not happy, right? Now that's a deep teaching there and I'll talk about that in a few later videos. But if you were ever get upset, that's a sign that you're not happy, right? That's the first reason, right? People get defensive about the reality. They're in denial about the fact that, yes, you know what, I am not happy. So first of all, you have to accept the fact that I'm not happy where I am. And that's your decision. You can make that decision for yourself, okay? So that's the first one. The second one is that when I tell you the secret to happiness, you're already thinking to yourself, this is utterly impossible. This guy is full of it. Right, he's full of it. Now, let me tell you, I'm not full of it, right? And I'm deadly serious about this. Very earnest in what I'm gonna tell you. But you'll think it's impossible. Think about this, like, there is not one psychologist or one psychotherapist out there in the world that thinks that it's normal to live a life without any upset or un any unhappiness. We've accepted the idea that to be unhappy in the world is normal and the way it should be, okay? So there's this belief out there that to be happy is an impossible dream, right? And I'm going to tell you, it's not. You can be fully happy all the time. It is possible, right? So is that a belief that you're willing to give up? That it is impossible and to accept the fact that yes, it's very, very possible and people have achieved it. People have done it. Now, the third one is very difficult to accept and it's this. The reason that you won't accept what I'm, I'm going to say at the end 
is that not only are you miserable in your life, but you're addicted to your misery. You value your misery more than happiness. Right? You value your misery more than happiness. So what do I mean by that? Well, what if I asked you to give up something for happiness? Let's see how much you actually value happiness. Maybe you're in a relationship or let's say you're not and you have a, a really strong crush on somebody that you find very attractive and you would you think to yourself, well, that person would complete my life, right? What if I was to make a bargain with you right now and say, you need to give up that right now and I will give you perfect happiness, right? Give up that person you're in the relationship with, the, the, the amazing person in your life. You have to just never see them ever again. Let them go. But on the other hand, I will give you complete joy all the time. A lot of people would say, no way, I'm not doing it, right? So they value something more than happiness, right? What if I said to you, you have to give up your reputation? You give up your reputation and you will be blissfully happy, happy for the rest of your life. Would you be willing to have your name sullied? Okay, your reputation tarnished? What if I said, um, forget making 50,000 euros a year or dollars. Forget making 100,000. I'll, I'll give you 10,000 a year and I can guarantee you, you'll be happy. Really happy. Would you do it? Can you live without the car or the lifestyle that you're chasing? Most people wouldn't. Most people, <clears throat> they think that these things that, that bring them happiness in, in their lives are, are amazing. They think they're the, they are the things that make their lives worth living. But what if those things that you're actually holding on to are like a ball and chain? They're actually the things that are keeping you from happiness. So the next one I'm going to talk about, the fourth reason you won't want to listen to this, is that you're currently a thrill seeker. You are, you're, you're seeking thrills rather than actual happiness. So what do I mean by that? To be happy is to be at peace all the time. Okay, never get upset about anything and never get overly invested or excited about anything. So what most of us do is we seek the thrill and then of course we have the, the crash, okay? So we, we're, we're after this cycle. Now we're only after the point, the, the top point, the crest of the wave, but that will break. And eventually we realize that, you know, we're on a, we're on a roller coaster here. Whereas the, the path of happiness is just like that all the way through, constant. Now, something that people don't understand about that is that this level actually starts to ascend and goes up and up and up, and higher and higher and higher. But we think that, well, yeah, but I can get that thing now, that really cool thing that's going to give me all the excitement and we're addicted to thrill seeking and we won't want to give that up because it's it's here now we can actually foresee that happening it's it's like a possibility to us the idea of being happy or being at peace seems like a pipe dream so are you willing to give up the thrill seeking okay seeking things in the world that you think are going to make you happy so that's the fourth one the fifth reason is most people suffer a lot in the world or they have suffered and they've suffered in trying to get whatever it is in life that they want right and they have setbacks and they have highs and lows and if someone was to come along and say yeah uh, all that suffering was completely pointless and you didn't need to go through any of that to be happy at all it was a complete waste of time um how would you respond it would mean all your suffering was completely for nothing didn't mean a thing. You didn't get any brownie points from it. You know, you weren't working off karma. It's just, it was a waste of time. So you would have to let go of all that, that, that story about, oh, the hero's journey and I struggled through this and I overcame everything. It's pointless. You don't have to do that, okay? So that's number five. And the last reason is what I'm going to tell you next, number six, is a difficult one because it means that when I tell you the secret, it means that you have to take full responsibility for your happiness 
and not only your own happiness, but your 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 happiness, right? So you are in complete and total. You're fully responsible for however it is you feel, and that means you have to stop blaming other people. It means you have to stop blaming the world. It means that you, stop, you have to stop blaming your parents, your job, uh, society, okay, politicians. And you just take complete control. Okay, how many people are willing to let go of the story about, well, that person, you know, that person really did me wrong there. Okay, or I was, I was, I was wronged in that situation. Or my boss really is arrogant. Or um, any number of stories, you know those stories, right? Are you willing to let those go? And that's the sixth reason. So, here is, that brings me nicely to the secret. This is the formula for happiness, okay? And it's so simple. The formula for happiness is that you stop actively engaging in the process of making yourself unhappy. And then you'll be happy. You stop actively engaging in the process of making yourself unhappy. And then you'll be happy <laughs> okay so it all comes down to you happiness is not something that you attain happiness is something that shows up when you stop actively making yourself unhappy with all these crazy ideas we've picked up uh, through the years all the programming we have about what it means to be happy none of it is true none of it you don't need someone else to complete you. You don't need a great job. You don't need to be poor, right? There's no, there's no nobility in poverty. There's no, uh, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to achieve. There's nowhere to go. There's no one to see. There's no one to talk to. There's no guru, right? It's just you stop putting all these demands in front of the peace that you want, the peace that is there and it's free. Anybody can have this. Um, you know, a poor person working in Bangladesh can be happy, right? And a, a CEO in an investment bank, you know, can be happy. It doesn't matter. It's just, um, what do you value? Do you value happiness? If you value it, it's yours just for the asking. So, can you remember? Some people are probably forgetting already. How do you become happy? You stop engaging in the process of active, actively making yourself unhappy. So your job is not to become happy, okay? Your job is to look at all the blocks that you have put in the way of your happiness and start dropping them. So that's the video. And um, that is how you attain happiness. And now you've got some work to do. Now you've got to start looking at those beliefs and start putting them under the microscope a little bit, okay? And start bringing them to that higher self that everybody has, that peaceful part that is in everybody's mind, that is there if you call on it. And it will help you look at these beliefs and it will help you see this, is, this isn't good, it isn't bad. These beliefs aren't good or bad. You know what they are? They're silly. They're silly. And you start to you start to giggle at them a little bit. And and after a while, you just a little grin comes on your face when you start thinking about these things. About oh I need to control that person. Or I need to manipulate this situation. Why? You don't need to do any of that. So bear that in mind guys and um, I will talk to you soon.